For social studies in December, we are learning all about plant power. Last week, we learned about poisonous plants, and today we are learning about pollinating plants with this book by Mary Shu. Let's go. Chapter one: Nectar and pollen. A hungry beetle lands on a flower. It wants the nectar inside. Nectar is liquid sugar. It gives creatures energy. The beetle takes something else too. What? Tiny grains of pollen. They stick to the insect's body. The beetle doesn't know it, but it will carry this pollen with it. It will pollinate the next tasty plant it lands on. Now, what is pollination? It is a process with steps. While a visitor eats from a flower, it rubs against the stamens. These are the male parts of the flower. Their tops are covered with sticky, powdery pollen. Did you know that flowers have bright colors and sweet scents? Why? To attract insects, birds, bats, and other creatures. No nectar is inside. This is how the plant draws them in. The stamens surround the pistil. This is the flower's female part. The ovary is at the bottom. It will hold the plant's seeds. At the top is the stigma. It is very sticky. Pollen from the wind or a hungry visitor easily sticks to it. Once pollen is on the pistil, it changes. The pollen grows a tube. It goes all the way down the pistil. This is how the pollen's male cells travel to the ovary. Take a look. A plant has both male and female parts. Pollination brings cells from these parts together. Then the plant can make seeds in the ovary. Chapter two: Growing seeds. The male cells enter the egg. The flower's petals drop off. The ovary becomes the fruit. It covers the growing seeds inside. The fruit grows bigger and tastier. It attracts creatures. Soon, animals will eat the fruit. The animals carry the seeds in their bodies. They leave the seeds with their waste. The tiny seed grow into new plants in new places. When pollinators find them, these plants grow seeds too. Did you know that some seeds don't need to be eaten to travel? Some stick to the animals or people. Some float in the water to new places, and some are carried by the wind. Chapter three. Pollinators. Insects and birds are big pollinators, but some unusual animals pollinate plants too. The honey possum lives in Australia. This tiny possum eats nectar and pollen. It has a long snout and tongue to reach inside flowers. It passes pollen as it eats. Another creature pollinates at night. This mammal flies with wings. It's a bat. What kinds of plants does it eat and pollinate? Bananas, mangoes, and many other fruit plants. Some flowers have many visitors, but other flowers have nectar that is hard to reach. Some hummingbirds have beaks made just for certain flowers. The sword-billed hummingbird has a very long beak. It feeds from long tube-shaped flowers like this one. Bees are busy. They are the best insect pollinators. They fly from flower to flower. They gather nectar and pollen as food. They carry pollen as they do so. Did you know that bees are very important? Why? They pollinate a lot of the food that we eat. How much? One out of every three bites. Now let's go through some of the new words we learned in today's book. The first word is cells, which is the smallest unit of a plant or other living thing. Energy is the ability to do work. Mammal is a warm-blooded animal with a spine and hair or fur. Females make milk for their babies. Humans, like us, are mammals too. Nectar is a sweet liquid in flowers that insects, birds, and other creatures drink. Ovary is the part of a flowering plant where the seeds form and grow. Pistil is the female part of a flower. Pollen are the tiny grains on a male part of a flower that contain male cells. To make seeds, pollinate is to move pollen from one flower to another so that it can make fruits and seeds. Pollinators are agents such as insects and birds that pollinate these flowers and plants. Stamens are the male parts of a flower. 
and stigma is the sticky tip of a pistol. Now it's your turn. What do you think about pollinating plants? Share with me down below and also let me know what are some things you learned in today's book. Take some time to think about it and then when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.